from me from yesterday. What's up, you guys? Happy Friday! We're examining awesome. Brandon's windstorm hair. Mine actually fared the, pretty well today. It's 50. It's 50. It 50. 50 episodes, and we have a fun story to share with you guys today. So, the title of this email is How Do You React When Crazy Things Happen in Your Life? So, um, that's been our day in the last, uh, well, it's been our day today. So, uh, hi, Nate. How are you? <laughs> so Nate's been on about 50 episodes. Nate has us. been on every 50 episodes. So, uh, when you guys jump on, give us a hello, give us a hi, tell us, uh, how you're doing. If you have a crazy story you want to share with us, we'd love to hear it. Uh, we're going to kind of share with you guys what happened with us today. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, uh, we're going to talk oh, about, we're, we're going to talk about, uh, how you react to it and how we would have reacted. Right? So. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it. So we got an email today. So a lot of you guys know we own a CrossFit gym. So we got an email today uh, from the uh, the management company of the building that we're in. We've been there for 10 years. There's been a um, same owner for about four years. And yeah, so that's how we feel about, we had an old like handshake deal and now it's company, whatever. But uh, they went ahead and sent us an invoice today while we're in the middle of a pandemic and we're closed. We've been closed for two months. Uh, that they misdid their taxes and they want to correct, collect a very large amount of money from us because they didn't do their books right. So uh, it was, <laughs> it's almost comical the amount of money they actually want from us, like close to 30 grand. Um, and so like I read it, I opened it and I was like, are you kidding me? Like this is not, this is just silly, right? So anyway, long story short, we're going to deal with that. But um, we all have the, those things that happen in our life, right? Where you're just like, what in the actual, like, how do you react? Right. And I, and I know that before we had gotten into self-development, like I probably would have picked up the phone. I would have gone crazy. I would have been like, you're insane, which they are. But like my reaction would definitely not <laughs> have been one where I could stay sort of like in the moment. And, and, and right now we're actually sort of laughing about it because it's so ridiculous. But so you want to talk about like, how are you managing your state? Right? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny, Chris. I was like, seriously. Um, and so like, how are you managing your state? How do you react when these things happen? And if we're not currently reacting the way that we want to, how do we get into a place where we can actually get to that point where we react in, in possibly a better state or where we can like stop and take some distance and then reassess what's going on, right? So it doesn't have to be something crazy like this, but like we've all had things that like trigger us and then like we respond, right? So how do you how do you create a, a block in that trigger and what do you do from there when those happen? Well, and I think it's, you know, if you've been following us long enough, you've been able to understand that, you know, and try we try to get across the aspect that there's very little in this world that we can control, right? And I think, um, you know, is how you respond to a scenario is one of those things you can control. And, you know, just we were talking about that of, you know, could you imagine if this was three or four years ago, what the response would have been, right? And I know for myself, it would have been a thousand percent different, right? Like it would, especially during this time of uncertainty and time of just all these other emotions that are getting thrown us this way. And all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, by the way, we're going to throw a little icing on top of the cake here and really see what you guys are willing to deal with. Right. And so, um, yet again, it, it will play out. We'll get everything worked out like the way we always have been. Um, but at the same time, like it, it's just interesting to be able to take a step back and look at our own reactions and be able to kind of compare them, um, of how they would have been, you know, three or four years ago when we just started this, um, relationship with this, these, this company. Um, <clears throat> but I think for, for a lot of times, I know my own reaction would have been, holding on I would have been pissed off I would have been angry I would have probably you know done something in a non-ideal way I would have lashed out and probably taken out on her I would have been very passive aggressive because I couldn't do it to them I would have probably done it to her my kids all these other scenarios that were just natural aspects of coming up especially under this time frame that really would have just been constant just throwing more gas on the fire, right? And me trying to grab a hold of things. And so, you know, it's just interesting. You know, I'm a big believer in when you're about to turn the corner on something, 
I'm a huge believer that life will throw an obstacle <laughs> in your way to see whether or not you're willing to see the other side of that obstacle, right? Like I've, I've we've experienced that too many times in 10 years in this of when there's, when there's restriction going there, that restriction is there for a reason. And if you're willing to ride out the storm, ride the wave, ride whatever um, met or a metaphor you want to tie to that, there's something on the other end of that, that is that the reward is going to be there for it. Right. And so, you know, it, it's, it, and yet again, when I know for myself in years, in, in past experiences, if I would have gotten outside myself, right. And been like, you know, it's still, it's, it's just ludicrous, this whole entire thing. But at the same time, like it's not going to do me any good because we went around to all the other, te- all the other tenants and everything else and talked to them. And like, you know, they're all on the same page as we are, but at the same time, like they've like got into like yelling matches and screaming matches and like hanging up the phone call and everything else and it's like we've done that I've done that right like I grew up in a household that modeled John Wayne of like no you (laughs) you if you got a problem you go down you handle the handle the problem you go kick the door in and you you be that man right and so and the funny thing is it's a relationship I'm probably the one that would do that more so usually we didn't react real well with that stuff (laughs) So like, you know, it, it's just interesting to be able to see these things, right? Like being able to take a look back and, and, you know, under those circumstances, that's really all we were trying to do is, is find a sense of certainty and find a sense of control during that. Right. And like my go-to to do that was get angry, right? Like get angry, get mad. Because if I knew if I was angry and mad, I could have a sense of controlling of knowing where my, where my emotions were coming from and what direction they were going to, right? Like even if they weren't directed in the manner in which they necessarily should be or not should be, but, but in the manner of the the direction in which they were probably aimed towards me getting angry was a sense of me being able to establish a sense of certainty over what was going on. Well, and it's, so there's two things. So a lot of times, like when you're in a process of growing and self-development and then these roadblocks come, like when, when you have an ask, right. An ask of like, I want to get to this place. This is the best version of me. These are the things I'm doing. Like the life, life is going to test you. And it's going to be like, are you really true to your ask? And what can you see these things as, right? Because everything is a learning opportunity. Everything is a room for growth. And so like, it's understanding that like, if you want this version of your life and if you want these things for yourself and if you know your values and and where you're headed, like life's gonna test you, right? And so you gotta figure out of like, okay, so when this test comes, what's it here to teach me? What am I here to learn from this? How is this, right? Like I said to Brandon, like we've been, looking at some other stuff and I was like, all right, God universe, I got you. We, I, I get you. We are on the same page. I hear you loud and clear. Right. And so that there's that piece of the ask, right. And then there's that piece of going, okay, if, if, if life happens to you and you like instantly respond, you're too much in the bottle with the stories. Right. And so what we have to learn to do and what we've really learned about ourselves is like, we can learn to have some distance and go, okay, let's just step back for a second. Let's look at this, what it is, right? Like our opinion, they've probably got their own stuff going on that they're trying to figure out, right? And so this is their way to try to get out of it. But like, we've been able to take a a step away and actually sort of laugh at it because it's, again, it's craziness. Um, But it's, it's, it's understanding that like, when you're in this contracted mode and you're like stuck in your stories and you're stuck in those emotions and something else falls on top of it, you're just like, oh my gosh, I can't deal, right? Whereas like when you can have some space and you can have some distance and you're not like swirling and all of that stuff and you're a little bit out here, you can see my hand, you're a little bit out here, then you can actually step back and go, okay, let's take a breath, let's breathe, let's put on the brakes, let's not react, let's take a second and then decide how we're going to act and what we're going to do, right? And so when you start to do that, like whether it's a fight with your spouse, whether it's something going on at work, whether it's whatever, like as long as you can understand and go, okay, let me come back to me, my integrity, my values, my like the, how do I show up in the world? What's going to be the best outcome for me and this scenario right now? And you can take a second, you can create a little bit of space and then you can move forward. Right. And that doesn't mean like laying down, let somebody take advantage of you. Like it doesn't mean any of that stuff. It just means like, can you get a little bit of space between you and the thing so that you're still in control and in creation of your reactions, your story, your emotions, all of those things. Right. And so it's literally like, take a breath, take a second, right? Like I read it right before I was getting in the shower and I was like, whatever, I'm getting in the shower. I had it. I had a call. Like it is what it is. Right. But like the old me, we would have been so wrapped up in this and we would have spun each other 
and like I'm certain I would have had a very not nice phone call like we probably both would have with these people and so it's it's just starting to understand like when you're in control of yourself and you know how to get back to your true alignment it makes all of these things a lot easier to handle versus like getting spun by them and just always being being in reaction well, and it's being able to, it goes back to whatever episode we talked about questions, right? Like it's, it's really all it is in that moment in time is being able to really ask yourself is first off, what state am I in, right? Like, cause yet again, if I'm in like a happy go lucky bouncing and doing cartwheels in the backyard with the girls type of mood and that comes through yet again, I'm probably going to laugh at it. Like that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Right. But like if I'm underslept, overstressed, haven't eaten, like all these other things that that might, that will affect my state. Then I read those things. That's going to direct my reaction. My interpretation is going to be a lot different, but at the same time, it's also the questions in which follow that up. Right. Like, Yet again, there's the sense of power questions that come along with that, right? Like, well, what is good about this scenario? Because oftentimes it's like when that comes through, there's nothing good about this scenario. Like, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, right? And it's like, okay, well, what is this, right? Like Courtney said, like, we've been trying to expand our horizons about what we're going to be potentially doing, right? Like, okay, maybe maybe this is the, the like, hey, the, the big old melting drum of like, I'm trying to give you every signal possible of like the direction you guys are going is the way that you guys need to stay course on, right? Like maybe you guys need this to just reaffirm, like stay course, you're on the good place. You know, like being able to ask yourself those things, okay, what is good about this? What is, what is the best thing about this scenario that's coming up for you in the near future right like be able to just spin these uh and look at things from a different perspective can just have a completely different emotional outcome on that and get you in a sense of empowerment and creation as opposed to what we normally did i know i did of like those mother efforts right like and how we did dare that they? let's yes. be honest we did i i had a solid five minutes of there is no effing way this is going to happen yada 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 but to each other and not to that person. No, right? but yet again, in years past and in yes. years past, like we talked about that with my own experience or last week, right? Like of feeling those things come through and, and being able to acknowledge them and be coming from a place of, of, uh, of, 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 of creation in my path as opposed to like, oh, hell no, everything's a fight. This has got to be hard. Life's got to be tough. I, you know, in order for me to really show and prove this thing, I'm going to go down there and I'm only going to make, make this gigantic scene, which probably isn't going to fix anything. I'm going to make sure they know who I am, right? Like it, 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 where things start to spin out of control by simply just by asking yourself a different question can direct you in a way different manner in which doing so. Right, like well, yeah. I mean, uh, well, and you can see like protectors start to show up, right? Like sometimes, like there are people that go into victim or go into you know fight or flight or like there's all these different things that happen, and so it's an interesting thing to ask yourself, like when things really out of the blue, really sort of crazy, whatever show up, how do you respond to them, right? And and just go back and sort of look at your patterns and go, okay, well, was that ideal? Is that how I'd want to respond, right? Like. Don't get me wrong. I was still very angry for a few minutes. And then it's like, okay, I can take some space. This is not going to dictate my life, whatever. Like it's going to be what it's going to be. But like the, the, the farther you get into your own development and the more that you can understand yourself and understand your energy and understand what alignment is, like the less time we spend in that energy, right? The less time we actually spend spinning or being angry or like doing any of those things. And not to say that maybe we don't want to be angry. We're going to go, you know, punch a like kick a punching bag or punch a punching bag or whatever, but it's understanding that I'm still in control of how I feel. I'm still in control of how I show up. This is not going to ruin our day. Like same thing, right? Like the last two months of our business have been insane as for everyone, right? The last two months have been crazy. And this is like even more ludicrous that's happening right now. Like it's, it's, it's just ridiculous. But so just honor that, right? And so if you guys have questions of like, well, how do I actually understand how to get in alignment? How do I like drop into my body? How do I understand? Like, how do I get outside of the bottle? Right? Let us know. We can talk you through that. Obviously I love breath work. You do it every Saturday. So always on Fridays, I invite you guys to join me at seven o'clock tomorrow via zoom. I'll post the link. Um, it's free slash donation based. It's amazing. It's like meditation on steroids. It's the coolest thing you've ever, coolest thing you've never done maybe. Um, so if you're wondering how do we actually get to this, I'd invite you to breath work, reach out to us. We've got lots of resources that we can pass on to you guys. So you can start to, to kind of understand this if you're not in a place where you respond the way that you would ideally like to. Good. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So we may or maybe not be on tomorrow. So we said we we're um, possibly going to take Saturdays off. 
Uh, we got to be at the gym getting equipment back, trying to figure out how to proceed next week with three people at a time. So uh, we may not see you guys till Monday, but if we don't see you, happy, happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Hope everyone is staying safe, doing well. Um, wish your mom a happy Mother's Day, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank y'all.